Hey guys, welcome in and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are completely new, hello, I am Sincerely Nico. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a foundation hunt video. I need to do one. I've been missing out trying new foundations and I'm so eager and excited to try out this one because it's new from a drugstore brand. And that is the Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. Full coverage protective makeup with SPF of 50 and antioxidants. <laughs> this is a new foundation from Maybelline. I'm so super duper excited to try this out because it's drugstore based, so it's very affordable. If you guys are interested in this video, then definitely keep on watching. But before we do so, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss out on any awesome videos like this or any foundation hunt videos from the near future. Last but not least, if you guys are enjoying my content or you are enjoying me, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and then let's go ahead and get right on into this. So I'm gonna read a little bit about this foundation off of the website real quickly. All right, it says, Dream Urban Cover Foundation Makeup Perfect Dream Urban Covers Flawless Coverage Foundation Makeup SPF 50 Protect and Perfect Skin with SPF 50 New Specialty Formula New Specialty Foundation form Formula New Specialty Foundation Formula with SPF 50 and Antioxidants Shield Skin from Urban Elements Cover imperfections, even out skin tone. The Dream Urban Cover is a flawless coverage protective makeup. This lightweight formula has a broad spectrum of SPF 50 and is enriched with antioxidants to protect against pollutions. Experience Maybelline first protective foundation makeup specifically formulated to shield skin from harmful environmental aggressors. This lightweight foundation has broad spectrum of SPF and it is enriched with antioxidants to protect against pollution. It not only leaves a natural looking finish but protects skin day after day. Available in 16 shades dermatology tested. So looking at the swatches he, we, we all know Maybelline has one of the largest shade ranches in the Fit Me collection but as far as other foundations outside their collections are very limited and I really wish Maybelline would definitely step up because a lot of people are pointing towards the Fit Me foundation for their holy grails. I stand by the Fit Me foundation. I wear shade 360 to 368 sometimes depending on the season. So if I'm ever looking for something very inexpensive to wear or very affordable to put on Fit Me Matte and uh, Matte and Poilies has always been my go-to girl. 16 shades in this foundation is not the best when we are launching 40 shades per foundation brand nowadays or new foundation launches has been coming out in 40 shades um could this have a potential to expand yes they have room for growth um and my shade range is only three i thought like it's light medium and dark and dark we only have five shades which is java truffle Cafe a Latte Cappuccino and Toffee. I will be trying out Truffle, which is the second to the last shade, 362. How do I feel about it so far as, as looking at the shade ranges? We could have more shade ranges, to be honest. I know that this is a skincare-based foundation, but yet it's not like a BB cream. A BB cream could be more acceptable to be 16 shades. But this is a foundation. This is a foundation, so it needs to be a little bit more, 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 how can I say, a little more shades than just 16 available, if you get my drift. So I'll go ahead and quickly prime my skin with my products that I normally always prime, which is the Hangover RX from Too Faced and the Peach and Prime, Prime and Peachy from Too Faced as well too. Alright guys, so I went ahead and put on my brows and primed my skin as you guys saw. Alright guys, so skin is primed, brows are done. Let's go ahead and 
apply a little bit of this foundation. I'm going to apply, I love the fact that it has this little droplet, droplet. Take a little bit on the beauty blender and let's just start blending. Hmm, there is a little fragrance. Or it could be that my beauty blender. <laughs> Don't know. But this is. This is a pretty good. Okay, Shay. A little warm that's pretty pretty decent I'm gonna take a foundation brush on the other side and blend some on the other side about that much on this side It is on that fuller coverage side. It ain't full full, but it's more like a medium full to me. There is a little bit of sheen to it, so I feel like it's a very natural finish. It's not that super duper drying matte. I feel like there's a great wiggle room to kind of do what you want to do as far as this foundation goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop off camera real quickly, complete my face, and I'll be right back. All right guys, I am back. This is the completed look right here. Just something very simple, something easy. Kind of my, I'm going to work. I'm not gonna do too much effort, and I'm not gonna wear something too crazy a look. So this is how she looks. Looks very normal, very simple. Like the way she dried down. Did use a lot of powders, I did use to say everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it pushing. Time is now, the time is now 11.29, 11.30-ish. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to work and do what I have to do. I will be back in a couple of hours to give you guys an update. All right guys, and I'm back and the time is now 7.55, which means I had this foundation on for about eight and a half hours. This is what it looks like. I feel like it definitely held up to what it's supposed to do, which is be there. <laughs> so honestly, I feel like this is a really good foundation. Um, price point for this, I think was like 13, 14 bucks, which is not really that bad. It's drugstore. You're getting what you pay for. But honestly, I feel like this foundation definitely held up with my oily skin. My nose is probably the only place that definitely did kind of like budge up a little bit, which is expected because that's where majority of the oils on my face budge up at. But it definitely held up and maintained its complexion intensity, if that's what I'm trying to say. Um... I did blot once, once today. I did blot once. Um, um, will I pick this foundation up and use it again? Honestly, if I'm in a rush and I want something that really matches my skin and look like skin at the end of the day, yes. This kind of gives me more BB cream vibe than full coverage I feel like I could push it to be full coverage um, but it gave the the texture was very much BB cream if you kind of get what I'm trying to say the texture was very much BB cream the coverage was very much medium ish I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here I got pizza 
on the way and I'm hungry so I will see you guys in the next video if you guys are interested in getting this foundation comment in the section down below let me know if you guys want to pick this foundation up I know people already reviewed this foundation and they love it and I like it it's it's really dope it's really cool it's really nice very innovative for Maybelline but I want to know what you guys think are you guys interested based off of my video and other videos you probably saw are you guys interested in getting this foundation if so let me know in the comment section down below and I would love to hear that so I'm gonna end this video here and I will see you guys in the next one peace bye <laughs>